Pur produit de la grande époque d'Hollywood, la star en a gardé tous les signes extérieurs, au fond de sa grande propriété de Beverly Hills, peuplée de souvenirs. C'est là qu'il nous reçut, après que son valet philippin l'eut tiré de sa sieste. En 1958, It's right there's the, the turn on, the valve. Okay, we do it again. And the valve is right there. See it? How can I say my favorite film? I, I've done over 200 films, you know? I don't think you should have that as a restriction or a limitation. Larry. Try anything. I think you should be prepared to do anything. Be believable, that's all. And respect your director and the audience. In 1958, uh, American exhibitors voted you uh, box office star number one. What do you think made you so popular? The people, the public. Um, I think because um, I never play anything but myself. And I never try to be a... a, a I can't do the acting like certain people can do. Uh, you know who I'm talking about, I'm sure, and that I can only play myself. I can't put myself into a character like, say, uh, Peter Ustinov or Laurence Olivier. I can't do that. I play myself. So that's why I like to do Westerns more than anything else, because they're easy. I'm playing me. And I'm, I, I raise horses. I have my own ranches and things, and it's, uh, I'm really getting paid for what I do every day. So, What kind of man do you think that they saw on the screen? I have no idea. They see me? I don't know. You know, nobody can look in a mirror and uh, uh, really judge it, judge yourself by looking in a mirror. You see diff different things, different people see different things than other people. So I don't know, I can't answer that, sorry. What, uh, what film do you think established you as a star? Oh, I, I think probably uh, Gilda with Rita Hayworth, who used to li live right next door here. Uh, after the war, when I came back, after three years in in Europe and in Southeast Asia, at, uh, uh, the Sea of Japan, around there. I came back and there wasn't many openings for people, you know. I, Bill Holden, Ty Power and I had gone off for several years and uh, our places were filled by the young people coming up. So um, we were told that we, you know, everybody's forgotten about you. So fortunately, the second film I made when I came back, first one was with Betty Davis called Stolen Life, and then I made Gilda with Rita Hayworth and uh, somehow that took off. That was interesting. Rita became my very close friend, and I finally made five films with her. Very nice friend. What do you think clicked uh, on this film? I think the relationship between Rita and I, plus the fact we didn't know how the picture was going to end as we were shooting it, they gave us the script the night before we shot the scene the next day, and we shot it in sequence, you see. So the first scene you see in Gilda, that was the first day's work. And, um, Rita and I became very dear friends, very close friends. I adored Gilda, and I adored Rita. And so what you see on the screen um, is true, you see. And we were very close, and let me put it very discreetly. Did, did this also establish uh, uh, Rita A. World as a star? Oh, everybody thinks of Rita as Gilda. There'll never be another Gilda. No. Once had a shooting up in the Klondike when they got them a groove. Folks were putting a flame on the lady known as Lou. That's the story that went around, but here's the real lowdown. Put the blame on me, boy. Put the blame on me. Name did a dance called the Hitchy Coo. That's the thing that slew my goo. Put the blame on me, boys. Put the blame on me.
Mr. Ford, uh, did, do you know all the people that are in this room? Oh, yes. All of them have been here, one time or another, with very few exceptions, maybe uh, 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 Franklin Delano Roosevelt hasn't been here, but all the rest. Is, is uh, autographs a hobby of yours? Uh, yes, yes, I'd say so. Um, I like autographed pictures to rem remind me of good friends, and uh, all of these people. I, I wouldn't want an autograph of somebody who hasn't been here, unless they're, you know, uh, Cousteau. My dream is somebody to meet him. He's my idol, if you want to put it that way. He's, well, maybe someday I'll be lucky, and I'll meet him. Uh, I noticed that there's not a lot of uh, directors on these pictures. Uh, is, is there any reason for this? I mean, are you, do you get to be friends with directors? Oh, yes. But uh, they're so good friends, and they... Uh, I have pictures of directors around the house. This is just con confined to other people. Directors, because I, I, I've done a lot of directing, they, it would be kind of embarrassing, I think, to ask for their picture. I don't know why, but... Uh, I don't know. What kind of direction do you like to get from a director? What kind of attitude do you like in a director? Well, I like the attitude of... Um, knowing what they're doing. They've done, they've done their homework, and they come on the set prepared, and they know precisely what they want. Uh, did you have to deal with directors that shout, and, you know, like a general on the set or something? Like that? No, if they shout and they say, speed it up or something, I say, I have only one speed, and that's what you're looking at. Now, you want me to go slower? That stops them. And if they start to shout, I just walk off. Or I tell them, please don't shout, very, very quietly. Not in front of people. I'll take him aside and give him a little talking to him. He straightens out pretty quick. I've, had, I've only had one or two that shouted. It's not the directors that shout, incidentally. It's the, it's the assistant directors that do the shouting. They're the ones who do the shouting. For some reason or other, they seem to be impelled to um, shout. I don't know why. The director can say to him, all right, let's uh, roll it. You know, and the assistant director says, roll it, gee whiz. They go, oh, wait a minute, you, sh you know, the lights shake. So you go over to the assistant director and say, that's, that's just, Tone it down, huh? You know, clap him on the back. Oh, cool it, huh? Cool it, man. Well, what? Well, I said, you want to go home? What do you mean you want to go home? I will shout again. I think you'll go home. He knows what I'm saying. He doesn't shout. I'm still here. <laughs> but what's the quality you like best in a, in a partner? I mean, in a, an actor you have to do a scene with. Oh, I've never had any problems there. I, I've never worked with anybody I didn't uh, like and respect. I, I don't demand anything of anybody. If they do their job, that's fine. I, I don't think an actor should get involved in criticizing another actor. When you say get along, I got along with them all. Really. I can't think of anybody I, I haven't been able to get along with.